Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the Mecca Media Morning Show. I hope you're good to go because we about to blow the roof off the sucker. Blow the roof off the sucker. Come on, don't, boy. Don't, don't, don't. Me. <laughs> blow me. AcronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. We got the mayor in the building, or should I say outside the building? We'll say outside. We're outside. Been outside all day. Okay, tell everybody what's going on, what's so special about Akron, and how we handled our um, protests today. Well, you know what? I, 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 I've been pleased the way it's gone so far, and I've been preaching about, you know, uh, we're here to listen, and, and I know people are pissed off, and, and to tell you the truth, I am too. These things don't help us as a city. Um, and these are some things that we're trying to change so people do feel like they're listened to. I don't like hearing stories of people saying, hey, you know, we don't, we, we can't call the police, we can't do this. Those things make me mad also. It's not the type of city I want to live in. Um, but I think it's important that we're out here listening tonight. Um, there was a pretty good-sized crowd this morning, a good-sized crowd tonight. Um, and, I, and, and there's some anger out there, and it's across the country. And I think as mayors, we need to step up and not only listen more, but to actually do more. Um, I think the key part of this, too, is that, you know, I think it's when you show up down here, but you have to show up to make change, too. And, and if you don't want me in this job, you know, go out and vote me out. I don't. It's not down here trying to get votes. This isn't political. It's not about me. It's about all of you and what you want to see out of your community. Because you're as important as, I, I don't care. I don't care if it's the guy that's got a million jobs and the guy that's trying to find a job. They, 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 everybody has a place in this city, and so that's what we're trying to do. So that's in a nutshell, I, and, and we'll continue to listen and try to learn. I'm not saying all the answers were through us. Uh, they're not, um, and we need to get better at what we do. So. Well, first off, we want to definitely thank you for coming out and just hanging out with us and everything, hanging out with the community and everything. I, I've never You're not done up. that, too. I mean, you'll listen, if I get yelled at, I get yelled at. I signed up for it. It's not a problem about that part of it, too. You know, we, we try and change some things also. It's not as easy or as simple as I would like them sometimes. Sometimes, but that's I'll, I'll never not do that part of it. Once I lose that part of it, the job's not fun. So, well, um, listen, if somebody want to get in contact with you and got some gripes and stuff, and maybe want to set up something else, how can they get in contact with you? Uh, you can follow us on social media, send us a message that way, or mayor at akronohio.gov. Thank you very mayor much. At akronohio.gov. Thank you very right. much. Have stay some safe fun tonight, please, Akron. Yes, All right, sir. stay civil. Stay. My name is Marco Somerville. Can you state your title? I'm a deputy mayor, senior advisor to the mayor, city of Akron. So what are we doing here on this lovely day today? Well, it's, you know, it is a lovely day, but it's a sad day. Yes, it is. You know, we all seen the video that is just unbelievable. Uh, and you know, the sad thing about it is that uh, that wasn't the first time. It's been going on for such a long time and nobody seems to want to step up to the plate and do anything about it. But let's be real clear about this. We gotta make sure that our white brothers and sisters Get tired of it, and when they get tired of it, that's gonna help us. Out. Point, There's bro. no doubt, and, uh, and then we won't have that problem. But and we always on. come out when it happens in our community. I've been out so many times coming out for different families and all that, but then I have to come out again and again and again, and I'm willing to do that too. But until the majority of people understand that our people need work, we need opportunity. We're going to have these kind of issues. Well, we appreciate your kind words, Mr. Deputy Mayor. And it's your boy, Cat Israel. We out. Brother. AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. It's me, the goddess Ebony. We're down here at the Akron protest. I done ran into somebody. I'll let him introduce himself and tell him a little bit about himself. My name is Lloyd Williams. Um, I've been with the African community for a long time. I grew up in Akron and I support what's going on here today. It's good to see the turnout that we have, and it's good to see that we are responding to the national crisis in a peaceful way. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Um, what, what makes you want to do something about this movement? What makes you want to get involved? Why is this so important to you? Well, first of all, as anybody can see, it's like I'm black. I'm wearing American flag because I'm a veteran. And it's like, why do I sit here and live in America and have to feel threatened when I've actually given part of my time and my life for service for this country? And then when I come out here, I have to worry about not only myself, but my neighbor, my grandkids, my children, worry about are they gonna make it, if they make a wrong decision, a wrong move. It's bad enough that we have to fear from people that are ignorant, but then the people that are supposed to protect and serve us, you know, do we have to fear from them too? 
which way do I teach my grandson how to stand as a man and as a black man? And also when we interact with the community, how do we interact with the community in a positive way? And it's good to see that the youth are being involved in this and I've been hearing reports about saying thugs and gang members and things like that. But no, this is the exercise, exercise in your constitutional rights. If you do not take the time to exercise them, then if you don't use it, you lose it. So the thing is, is you have to get up and stand for yourself. And if, I know we got people that go to church, people that have different religious values, but the thing is, is we're supposed to be brothers. We're also supposed to be our brother keepers. And what makes me want to be involved is, I'm actually involved in active rights of passage. Um, I went through Ripples of Waves program. I'm a certified trainer, teacher. And so when it comes down to showing what we need to do as a community and our culture-wise, it also means, for me, what it could do be American. And like for me, you know, America, growing up, we was told it was a melting pot. So not only do you have your cultural values, but you have your American values. So standing here today, watching these people demonstrate and being part of the demonstration, it's what you're supposed to do. If you want to say the Pledge of Allegiance, or you want to stand up for um, the national anthem, then you stand up for when people protest because I am my brother's keeper. All right, well, I want to um, thank you for your service to this country. Thank you to this, your service to the black community. And thank you for your time today. It's the Goddess Ebony. We'll catch you next time. We out. DrHipHop.com, the reporter newspaperonline.com. It's your boy K. Israel, live on location. We got a special guest we're going to interview today. We're going to ask her what her name is what we're doing here today. It's me, Tammy Cummings. How's everybody doing? You okay. can breathe? I can't breathe. So what are we doing here today, this, this lovely evening? Well, we're trying to get our point across that, that inequality that's happening in this city and the prejudice and the racism needs to stop. And black people need to get a fair shot and... Although we're not dealing with the murders like they are in other cities, we, we do have some pretty significant problems here with racism and discrimination. And how, how do you feel about the, um, the Mr. Floyd situation? Oh, it's tragic. It's horrific. And I would totally support it. If that happened here, burn this bitch down. Burn it down, you know? <laughs> Kevin Rip. Seriously. You know, it didn't happen here, thank God. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to go to those lengths to get our point across. But we do need to take, you know, strong, significant measures so they can they can understand that we're here and we want to be heard. All right, uh, one more question: What do you think that we need to do as far as legislation on a national, and local level here in the city of Akron? Well, on a national level, we need to get doofus up out of there. But on a local level, I think as a, the black community, we need to come together. We need to pull ourselves and rise ourselves. They're not going to do it for us. They're not going to give us anything. We got to take it. So we have to. If we got to bring more programming, whatever we have to do to empower ourselves to get to that next level, to be seen and be heard, we got to vote. Y'all got to vote. If y'all don't go vote, whatever, all this is say pointless. It. You better say You can't be down here trying to bust out windows and riot and stuff if you ain't even exercising your right to vote and be heard and put people in office who are going to represent you and who are going to focus on helping break down this color barrier. So that's the first thing we need to do. That's what we should have been doing down here, passing out voter exactly. registration applications, no for real. Y'all want to make a change, that's where the change starts. Um, and then other than that, we need to we need to start working in those low income minority communities. You know, we got the south side, we got, we got the valley, we got, you know, the north side, we got all of these areas that are just so low income and disproportionately, you know, the, the resources are disproportionately allocated. You know, on the South Side, we've got access to fresh food over there. We got to put in community gardens. We got to put in programming. We got to put in something that's going to give these people not only hope, but also additional resources to get themselves up out of that situation exactly. and uplift the whole community. Oh, well, we appreciate your interview. You know what I'm saying? Like like she said before, go you vote, go join nonprofit up. organizations and organizations that we get the love represent your community. This is your boy, Kat Israel. Can we get the yeah. love Miss Sims up in? Darnell Mitchell with the Mecca Media Morning Show, the reporteronline.com. Oh, there you go. Your ear fell off, son. <laughs> My ear fell off. <laughs> we're, just, we're just down here in the, uh, the uh, protest that we had, uh, peaceful protest, and I'm talking to my man right here. I interviewed him. He needs an introduction, but he can introduce himself. Yeah, I'm Pastor Harrison from the Antioch Baptist Church. Um, we, we came down here tonight, this afternoon, to, to have a, a goal. Our, our objective is to get racism declared a public health crisis mm. in Summit County. So when we get that done, when we get that demand met, now we will sit down 
and we will strategize how we go about actually eradicating racism. But racism is a public health crisis and we need everybody to acknowledge that. That was the goal of today's peaceful protest. There you have it. It was the first time I ever had went to a, a dead like this and you could feel the vibe, you could feel the vibe, you could feel the vibe. It was peaceful. The main thing about it, it was peaceful. And that's Darnell Mitchell, reporting from the reporter. <laughs> <laughs> we got a comedian out here. Hip-hop.com. COVID, baby. <laughs> Peace. Uh, I thought it was a beautiful, um, peaceful uh, rally. Uh, I thought it was very substantive. I thought the, the folks who spoke uh, really spoke to the issues um, around the issues of racism being a public health crisis. Uh, I appreciate uh, the fact that um, the officers are well poised, uh, and so is the community. I, I would say 99.9% uh, .9 of the folks uh, were in a good space. I think this is how we do it in Akron, uh, and it was a beautiful uh, time uh, asking for change. How do you feel about um, the Mr. Gregory Floyd situation? I mean, I George? Uh, uh, just like, I, I feel like most everybody in this country, um, it's unfortunate that um, this is not the first time and um, that we are traumatized time and time again uh, the same way. Um, people say that this feels different this time. That's almost hard to hear this time, uh, but I do feel uh, that something has changed. I think if we have the uh, political and the social wherewithal uh, to want change, we can have just that. Uh, this is Boy Cat Israel, live on location. Peace. Sir, my name is Charles Brown, the Deputy Mayor for Public Safety for the City of Africa. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, how do you feel about uh, the citizens of Akron peacefully protesting today? I think, it's, I think you should take a, every opportunity, every opportunity to voice what your concerns are in a peaceful way. I appreciate that. Uh, no doubt. Um, how do you feel about the incident that happened in Minnesota with Mr. Floyd's untimely uh, demise? I, I think it's, it's horrible. Based upon the things I saw in the video, um, I think it's horrible. And, and no one should have to go through that type of suffering. And uh, one more question. Uh, what can you uh, say to the citizens of Akron to ensure that public safety will be uh, priority number one in the city of Akron? Great question. I, I am responsible for all the public safety, police, fire, and our 911 center. So we are working hard to make sure we get great talent, the best people we can possibly can get. We're also making sure we're transparent in everything that we do. We have a great committed uh, workforce and public safety, both police and fire, and we work really, really hard to make sure they do what they need to do and making sure they put customers first, customers being the citizens of Akron. Can I ask a question real quick? Sure. If somebody want to get in contact with you, can you give us the number of contact? Sure. My, my phone number is 330 375 2224. I'll say it again 330 375 2244. Uh, thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, uh, be safe out here. And since Akron also be safe and exercise your First Amendment rights. This is Boy Cat Israel. Peace. Come on, house. All right, y'all. We down here at the Akron protest. I ran into this guy, Darnell. I want to ask him. A, I want to ask him a couple questions. With one important question, what did you think about the rally today? What did you think about the people? I thought it was nice that the people came out and protested and uh, stood up for what they believe in. It was more. It was more Caucasian than it actually was of our people out here. You know, it brought us together, you know, the common ground. But, uh, you know, they made it they made it peaceful and said what they had to say, and they went on up the way. I think it was, it was the first time I've ever been a part of something like this, and it was, it was interesting. Well, you guys, it's been nice today. I've been down here for a while. It's getting kind of rowdy, seeing some people running. And you know when one or two or three start running, it's time to go. Catch you later. <laughs>